Very good. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is when solving radical expressions, uh, I want to go through two exact, two problems that you guys should hopefully be familiar with um, to start with. Now, at the beginning of the year, Mariana, when we were going over problems like this, what we did is, if we were looking at a problem like this, what we see is if we were going to solve for the value of x, what we can see is x plus 3 is equal to 4. So obviously, to look at your inverse operations, what we see is x is being added by 3. So to undo adding by 3, we subtract 3. So x equals 1. Everybody's good with this, right? Right. Um, however, the purpose of this, though, is we're going to get into much more difficult equations. So what I'm trying to go with you guys is we use inverse operations when we're solving for x. For instance, if I had x squared equals 25, well, the inverse operation of squaring is to take the square root. So we would take the square root on both sides. So therefore, x would equal. Now remember, when we introduce the square root, we have plus or minus 5. OK? That's kind of like the foundation. So what we're going to be doing is doing problems that are going to look like this. If I have the square root of x equals 2, we need to take the inverse operation so we can just get it to x. So if the inverse operation of squaring is square root, the inverse operation of the square root is going to be square. square. So we're going to square both sides. Therefore, my final answer is x equals 4. Now, what's important about square root is whenever we're solving square root functions, since we're squaring. Wouldn't that be x squared equals 4? Nope, because remember, the square root of x squared is just x. Right? So the, so the squaring of square root of x is just going to be x. Does that make sense? OK, so because um, squaring and square root undo each other, so we're just left with x. Um, we're always going to want to make sure we take our answer, though, and plug it back in. So if we plug 4 in for x, we get square root of 4, which is equal to 2, which checks out. So you're always going to want to go back and check your answer, because we will do a problem that does not have a solution. Wait, how is x square root 8? Okay. You understand that if I have x squared and I take. Okay, okay. okay. 